Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, let's learn about Land Rover's TPMS. TPMS is a tire pressure monitoring system. When you start the engine on a Land Rover vehicle, the instrument panel screen shows the TPMS setting for a while and then disappears. Let's look again in slow motion. Pressing the engine start button shows the TPMS settings in the center of the instrument panel. It is currently light loaded. The TPMS settings can be made in the vehicle information in the instrument panel menu. At the bottom of the tire information is the TPMS load setting menu, with a choice between light and heavy loads. If you set it to heavy load, the instrument panel will briefly display heavy load guidance for the next restart engine. These TPMS load settings are generally recommended to be set as heavy loads when more than three adults are in a vehicle or loaded with similar weight. At the bottom of the display in the instrument panel menu is the unit settings. You can select bar, KPA or PSI at the pressure setting of the units. You can choose the tire pressure unit you are familiar with. If you go back to the tire pressure menu in the tire information setting at the bottom of the vehicle information, you can see that the tire pressure is displayed with the set unit value. The number next to the four tires indicates the actual tire pressure and the numbers in parentheses are advised. Currently, the psi value set for the light load is displayed. The tire pressure in front of the driver's seat is 39 and the advised pressure is 40 psi. Now let's select heavy load from the TPMS load settings menu. Let's go back to the tire pressure menu after changing the TPMS load settings to heavy load. The current tire pressure in front of the driver's seat is the same as 39, but the advised below changes to 47 psi. This time I tried to reduce the tire pressure in front of the driver's seat. After 2 psi, a difference of 10 psi from the advised value is shown. Along with a tire pressure warning light to prompt you to check on the screen. If you press OK to clear the display, you can see it again in the show warnings menu under vehicle information in the instrument panel menu. Alternatively, if you select the tire pressure menu in the tire information at the bottom of the vehicle information, it displays in yellow which tire should be inflated. If there is a significant difference between the current and recommended air pressures, you will know which tires to check with the tire pressure warning light. Now let's change the TPMS load setting to a light load and look at the tire pressure. The warning light does not disappear even though the difference between the current and advised inflation pressures of the tires in front of the driver's seat is not much. Then let's drive. After about one minute of driving, the tire pressure warning light disappeared. Let's go back to the tire pressure menu on the instrument panel menu. You can see that the tire pressure in front of the driver's seat before and after driving is the same. Simply changing the TPMS setting from heavy road to light road does not go away the warning light. You may need to drive a little after changing the TPMS settings. Conversely, if you change the TPMS setting from light load to heavy load, the warning light does not appear immediately. If you start driving for a minute or so, the tire pressure warning light will be displayed again and the screen will guide you. Looking back at the tire pressure menu in the tire information, you'll see that the tire pressure in front of the driver's seat is the same. But the tire warning light is displayed as you set the TPMS settings to heavy and light loads. And as soon as you change your TPMS settings, you will see that you need to drive for more than a minute, rather than showing or disappearing warning lights. Therefore, it is essential to set the TPMS correctly according to the weight of passengers or luggage in the vehicle and to properly adjust the tire pressure as necessary. So far, we have learned about Land Rover's TPMS. In the next video, we'll talk about Land Rover's ATPC, HDC, and Terrain Response.
Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.